And we're back. Yeah, the this claw it, will it, not, it, the black the back claw will not work on the thing. <laughs> the the, the, this is a kind and well no, the thing is uh this was when I was using um a PS uh, a 360 controller. I I fucking despise the 360 D-pad. Yeah. <laughs> So, which D-pad would you consider worse, that or the GameCubes? Uh, 360. 360. Yeah, at and least like the th D-pad can respond to it. Yeah, at no least the D-pad is responsive, yeah. and at least the GameCube, it, at least GameCube games are designed... I like, how you, I like how the way you say, you say GameCube. <laughs> and, and, and at least the GameCube games are designed around having such a stiff D-pad. Yeah, all two of them. Metroid Prime 1, Metroid Prime 2. <laughs> like you're not using that D, you're not using that D-pad for movement. You're using that for nope. menu selection. Yep. <laughs> Batman just looking to the camera. Patient pacification system deactivated. There you go, buddy. Now you don't have to get shocked. Now it can get zapped though. Which is a very fucking annoying status of Palement and Dragon Quest, just saying. <laughs> Shut up! Oh, what's that? It's, what's that suddenly grinning indoors? It's a thunderstorm. Batman's got metal in him. It's to the left. I know what I'm doing! Cut on the man. <laughs> no, I just said he's to the left. The crazy guy, he's on the left side. Uh, oh, uh, oh. I thought you meant like I was missing a Riddler trophy on the left. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you a dick. And the, like again, you say you hate these guys, but I fucking love them just because of that. You put uh, them in the air and then they just go flying. Wait fly. for it. Wait for it. These assholes become really fucking tedious once you leave, and you know they start ambushing you in the open world. And uh, what are you uh, talking about? Just have detective mode on. There you go. You're fine. You can see them. Says th this coming from the guy who specifically said he hated detective mode in this game. <laughs> I didn't say I hated it. I said I, I said I think it's used a bit too much. Ah, oh, well, that I'll definitely agree. At least with the Return to Arkham games, I don't find myself doing it as often. I'll at least give it that. <laughs> Guilty. I did that too. <laughs> Every time there's a fork, I always go for both. Like, I know this is plot. Like, I, I know these games so much. Okay, I know this is plot. Let me go the other way. This is probably my least favorite section in the asylum. Why? I mean, well, in the insane part of the asylum, is what, what I meant to say. The penitentiary? No, just this one puzzle. You have to deactivate the shocking one. Uh, the shock on both the pools, and then... Um, it's not that hard, it's just... No, it's not that hard. I just don't like being timed once you get it done. Like, you gotta deactivate that one. Let's piss in the electric minutes. water. Yeah, in two minutes. I do this in, like, 30 seconds, and even then, this is with well, me sometimes getting... sometimes I just don't have the right, the best of luck with the, with the sequencer, right? Sometimes, like, I always try to rotate it in, a, like, both analog sticks, and I... This was me thinking I could immediately come back, and I forgot that the Joker toxin lingers. You can technically come back. I know, I know, and I do bring come back, is, but it's that you can't solve the Prometheus riddle until, um... Uh... You want to say that again, Harley? <laughs> what are you doing? You've already done it. I know, this is me thinking... This is me not, not remembering that there's others. Detective mode! Thank you! Not there. There! <laughs> Christ, man. Well, then again, if you have the, the amplifier thing, you don't even need to worry about the electric water. I think that's what I was thinking of last part. Hmm? For the one that's on the water right there. Actually, on my recent playthrough on Return to Arkham, that's exactly where I was at. By the time I got to this puzzle, I had 30 seconds. Did that literally again, interrupt that... you? Yeah, it does. Frickin it's programmed to do that. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that ridiculous. doesn't help be gay. Get Get 
curse his teeth. Oh wait, where are those teeth? Okay, I, I mentioned this to you yesterday, but when I got to this part, I just skipped this cutscene, and this officer just looks at Batman, and Batman looks at him, and they just speak telepathically to me. <laughs> I don't know why, it's just so funny. It's just like they just stare at each other. They don't say anything, they just stare at each other. <laughs> What's up, Louie Green? Also, teeth. Uh, also, uh, can you guess who's voicing uh, Louie Green? Well, since this game came out in 2009, or uh, yeah, 2009, uh, Troy Baker, Tom Kane. He's also the voice of Quincy Sharp. Okay, I, I mean voice actors doing separate roles in the same game or show that's not uncommon I mean hell Chris Sabat in the original Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball C voices over half the cast <laughs> that's right <laughs> it's only with Kai that they replace a lot of people actually so who the hell does uh, where, who else does Tom Kane voice I don't know. That's why you were bringing it up like it was such a big thing, and then it's like, oh, he's also the voice. Because uh, I'm, I'm, I'm like, forgetting who. I'm just like, okay. <laughs> okay, that's cool, bro. Uh, that's cool. Holy shit! He was a uh, Yoda in the Clone Wars, a uh, TV show. Nah. The CG one. Which is uh, really fucking good, actually. Yeah, I, I, I've heard good things. Just don't really care. Uh, Magneto and Wolverine and the X-Men. And Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Oh, he's the voice of Ultron in Next Avengers, Heroes of Tomorrow. And Earth's Mightiest Heroes. Nice. Oh my god, now I feel old. <sighs> you guys remember Frost's Home for Imaginary Friends, right? Yeah. Yeah. He's the voice of Mr. Harriman. Oh. <laughs> okay, Miss no, no. Francis! That show had one of the best intro songs. Ah, uh, yeah. I don't know why. I've actually been, like, marathoning um, old... Uh, not, not, like, you know, watching episodes, but, like, just listening to old cartoon intros. <laughs> Oh if my if, god. If, 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 if there's one that still, to me, I think stands the test of time, just in terms of how catchy it is, it's Ko Lyoko. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Call your going, Zanina. Uh, that, that's such a good fucking song. Um, Tom Kane also voices Lord Monkey Fist in Kim Possible. And. Oh, <laughs> you know what's bad is I knew immediately who that was before you even finished, say, the full thing from Kim Possible. Like, that. <laughs> That show was not bad, for the record. Oh, uh, dude, but... I fucking loved Kim Possible. <laughs> but, like, some of the designs on the villains were just something like, like, what? <laughs> oh, but this is uh, the biggest one. Like, th it's like, as soon as you hear it, it's like, oh, yeah. Um, he's Professor Utonium and him from Powerpuff Girls. <sighs> you mean Samurai Jack of the future? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Just look at Professor Utonium's design and, uh... Samurai That's Jack. right! Oh my god, I'm seeing it now! Holy shit! It also might have something to do with the fact that Jin... Uh, I don't know how to say his name, but the creator of Samurai Jack and him... Uh, he Well, he also helped create the Powerpuff Girls, or, like, he worked on something to do with it. I forget what yeah, it was. Yeah, because they have similar art, art styles. But, like, I think anytime he's, like, done artwork for cartoons, he uses a very similar style. <laughs> so. I mean, I love his um, work. Gotta get back so. to the past Powerpuff Girls. He also helped do, uh... I think he directed the Dexter's Lab movie. The, um, the good one. Um, the, the one... I think there was only... I think Wait, uh... <laughs> Uh, the one where, like, he's time-traveling and meeting his future selves. Wait, who are you talking about? Uh, what show? What movie? What? Uh, the guy who who made Samurai Trek. I can't pronounce his last name. It's like Chudakowski or something like that. Um, he, uh, he also had some work to do with uh, Dexter's Laboratory. Mm. But no, uh, were you saying about the good one? 
I, I think there's only one Dexter Slide movie, but I can't help but think there's two. Mm. Or, like, there's different ones, but, like, he directed the best one, is what I'm trying to say. Four walls, two sides, and an XDA. <laughs> He's in a grade above you. I know. Cause, yeah, because I, I, I did that, too. I was like, I'm hearing this guy, but I do not see him. <laughs> I hear him. Hi, Harvey. One of my favorite characters in, uh... In Batman. I'm losing patience. So, uh, I know that, I know the or, which origin is the true origin for Two-Face? D.A., uh... Because I, I know in animated series he started as Bruce Wayne's best friend, who was also, you know, police no, officer. No, you're, 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 uh, no, that's, um, you're thinking, um, that's not Harvey Dent, that's, uh, Thomas Elliot. No, I'm, no, Thomas no, I'm Elliot. thinking Thomas animated. Elliot, uh, I'm thinking animated series with Harvey Dent. In that series, he was. Uh, yeah, they, best they were close. Uh, they were close friends. Yeah, they were close uh, friends before the accident. Yeah. Um. Well, also in the animated series, they kind of went uh try to emphasize that he had a bit of uh of a more uh that he had a uh that he already had like a split personality. Well, he had the aggressive personality. Yeah. Uh, so... But, uh, which origin story is true for him, like... It's... it's interesting. Is it the canon one? Um... <laughs> <laughs> Don't take that seriously, please. <laughs> God damn. I don't remember which one it's in, so fuck it. <laughs> Can't go wrong when you got them all. Uh, this is me not noticing that's not... And you missed. <laughs> oh, but you still got him. Well, no. Bad ranks don't affect him. Yeah, they're not affected by bad ranks, which pisses me off. I mean, you'd think they would. Considering that you just knock them down easily with one punch. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, uh, with regards to your question, I think the canon is definitely not New 52. Uh, New 52 really fucking pissed me off. <laughs> uh, where they made him a corrupt DA from the very beginning. Mm. Which basically ruins the whole point of his character where, you know, the whole tragedy of his character that makes him such a great, um character to pay attention to is uh he's you know gotham shining white knight who was you know we we all saw dark knight he's not the hero like he's like harvey was you know like the hero that would have had bruce give up being batman mm. because he's like gotham doesn't need me anymore they have harvey yeah like, he was Gotham Shining White Knight. But then crime messed him up. He was, uh, the Shining White Knight brought down to the levels, to the level of the very people, also, recording glitch. <laughs> what? Uh, you didn't see the video stutter there? No, I just saw the electric floor come up. Which, by the way, I want to say, this, this, this area right here, hardest challenge map in the entire fucking game. To get the best score possible, I never did the I never did the asylum challenge maps. I did them. I I have platinumed them this game. I really do love this game, but fuck this challenge map up the ass. <laughs> like seriously, the the electric floors here are not that bad because like what I like to do now 
since I don't have to worry about getting a good combo. It's just run back and forth between these these things and just like let the henchmen chase me. It, it, it leads to some really good uh, Benny Hill type scenarios. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, what do you uh, mean like that? No, 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 no. Like some uh, some of the guys actually went down to um. To well, it doesn't me. happen often. Like this guy. Yeah, like that. You Zap. can do that, but it doesn't happen often. This isn't Arkham City. You can't just do circle, uh, uh, count, uh, stun, and then uh, run up them. <laughs> oh no, you can't do that in the city either. Yeah, I'm talking like if they. Uh, oh wait, no, you can't. I was thinking Stumbatons. if they had a shield. Yeah. No, I was thinking if they had a shield. Uh, so, uh shield isn't a uh, beat down. The shield is uh, aerial strike. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. Yeah. Beat down is for like armored people. Yeah. Oh, well, I wasn't also talking about the beat down. I was talking about where you stun them and then you uh, like double tap the run button. I don't know why, but Batman's face has always amused me when he like <laughs> when he Quiet sees that. Next to certain names. You're the detective, you tell me. Yep, I know. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, what were we talking about? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Harvey. So, like, the tr whole tragedy is, you know, Gotham's Shining White Knight brought down to the v level of the very people he was trying to fight uh, and put away. So what's the ratio of Batman's uh, villains be like between tragic and just insane? Yes. Pretty even. Harley's been everywhere on the island. So uh, I know Ivy's two. I know two characters that are tragic are Harvey Dent and uh, Mr. Freeze. Yeah. But uh, to an extent, Ivy. Um. To an extent, Ivy, and to an even lesser extent, Harley. Yeah, that is true, since <laughs> she did start just as a uh, a uh, therapist for the asylum. Hi, Victor. Freeze! That's Mr. No, Freeze that... to you. No, and just, yes, I... and, and to debunk uh, that argument, yes... He was designed as to be a Captain Cold knockoff. Captain Cold was the original uh, Ice character. Was well, his last name spelled F R I E S? Yeah, German. yeah. His name is spelled Fries, okay. but it's Freeze. Okay, I'm it's, sorry. It's hey, German. It's Victor, no, it's, it's Victor Fries from now on. <laughs> uh, it's Freeze. He's German. <laughs> I don't care. It's Victor Fries. <laughs> Step right there, Mr. Fries. <laughs> You're too it's ironic, and You're it's You're too funny. late, Batman. I am going to flood Gotham City with my curly with fries. My last name is Freeze, Batman. <laughs> I am going to flood... You should know, I am German. I am going to flood Gotham City with these curly fries. You guys are assholes. <laughs> Next, you'll tell me that Pokemon is actually spelled Pokemon. <laughs> no, it's Pokemon. Pokemon. Not Pokemon. No, Pokemon. It's no. Pokemon. No, it's Pokemon. Damn Pokemon. With the Digiman. <laughs> With the Digiman. <laughs> <laughs> or if you really want to get technical, a Jamaican Pokemon could be a Digimon. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Uh, but, uh, 
Mr. Freeze does have a pretty tragic end in Batman Beyond. New brick. I hate what Batman Beyond did to Freeze. What? Fresh blood was injected into the spider head. Oh, okay, I was about to ask if that was the one that gave him, like, spider legs or something. Yeah, yeah he was, and yeah, he even was. worse, even worse, it shits on the ending for Sub-Zero. Yeah. Where, you know, Freeze gets his happy ending. But LOL, no. though, Nora left his, Nora left yeah. his sorry ass. Seriously, what the fuck? But it's, it's the moment where he dies that's really, uh, that's actually pretty good feels. Where, uh, where, I, ter I, I, where Terry's I, like, come on, you gotta get out of here. And he's like, believe me. You're the only one who cares. Uh, well, again, he, that that's even worse. Like, he had Nora. Uh, Having, like, Freeze, the whole like... setup for Freeze and Batman Beyond was so fucking stupid. Not even s just stupid. It pissed me off because it, it effectively shits on the development from Sub-Zero. Because they needed to have a nice villain. Just make a new one. I mean, shit, you already have Harley knockoffs with Dee Dee and Dee Dee. Even though they were only like movie exclusive and that Justice League Unlimited time travel special. Uh, sure, let's go with that. Like, like the Jokers, the Jokers that were shown in the Return of the Joker movie and that Justice League Unlimited time travel special. Like, they were never seen in the actual series at all. Huh. I could have sworn that the two, like, Harley Quinn knockoffs were at least shown a few times in Batman. The, uh, Dee Dee and Dee Dee? Nope. They were only like, in the Return of it... the Joker movie and the Justice League Unlimited crossover. Well, Batman Beyond went for original villains. Well, you know, well, I mean, even when they were bringing back the Bane concept, they had somebody else using the Venom. Yeah, like, like they were using completely original. They're using the fact that it took place in the future yeah. to be able to bring in original villains, you know, without and any then, baggage. And then, well, Joker is pretty much all around the city in the form of Jokers. What a gang! Yeah, like pe people, tr people just wanted to cut, wanted to do what the Joker did. Ah, so anarchists. Yeah, even though even though in reality Joker would kind of would kind of have to teach them more. <laughs> no, thank you. I don't. I never get sick of it. It's just funny. <laughs> I got sick of it really quick. It overstated its welcome, is the thing. Ah! <laughs> Now we will blow up the island. I've already been in here. There's nothing in here. Yes, there is. There is on the other side, I think. Let's see. The What's in this but... toilet? Ah, a turd. That reminds me of Metro to Other M when you can when you go into like one of the restrooms and there's like a missile expansion in there. <laughs> Wait, in the toilet? Yeah. <laughs> Who, t who fucking t who fucking had this smuggled in their ass? Wee. <laughs> who smuggled missile expansion in their ass? <laughs> Come on, crap. Fuck sakes. <laughs> also looking. Stop, stop, also looking at looking there. at what he just did. This pretty much makes the lunatics Batman's version of uh, Redeads from Zelda. <laughs> yeah, he did. They jump on top of you. They, they jump you and constantly do damage. They're no touch. They're 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 bad touch. <laughs> bad enemies. touch. Bad touch. Okay, worse redead. Uh, no, uh, I'd say redeads are still worse, particularly in a time where you encounter the ones that can, for some reason, make you freeze in place as they're walking toward you. Uh, like, dude, that's all redeads. Yeah. Yep. There's one to the left. Like, how the fuck do these redeads have time stop powers on me? No, it's they make you. They make you. 
yeah, they make you freeze in fear. I, I would say I would say if you play Dragon Quest Four, <laughs> it's kind of like that. They um, they paralyze you with fear. Yeah. <laughs> Luckily, once you have fi- once you have fire a bit, once you have like uh, Din's fire or fire yeah. arrows, you can kill them pretty instantly. I think you're oh, thinking you're gonna Gibdos. love the re-deads in Wind Waker. Then, <laughs> to me, to me, it's weird. Wind Waker, um, to me, has the scariest Zelda enemy designs out of the entire series. As a kid, I did. As for, a kid, uh, I was pretty creeped out. Uh, creeped out honestly, by the for me, to, uh, <laughs> I'm trying to remember. Were there re-deads in Twilight Princess? There were, but they were more looking. They were more. Um, they were just carried very large swords. They didn't really do much. Wait, Redead's carrying swords? Well, they what? carry, they yeah, carry they swords in Hyrule it. Warriors. Yeah, that's what they're based off of. Oh my god. <laughs> wow, it's been a long time since I played Twilight Princess. You'll get, you'll get to it eventually. After Majora's Mask. And yeah. after Wind Waker. Well, it doesn't really matter, <laughs> they're split timelines. <laughs> 